So we are going to have three systems move through our area, bringing us some rain over the next six to seven days. Tonight, we have a system that will be moving in, bringing us some light showers ending by early tomorrow morning. Saturday, we have another system moving in, bringing about one to two inches of rain throughout the day. That will be out by Sunday, and then a more impactful system will start to make its way in as we get into Tuesday. On Tuesday, we have to throw in an isolated chance of seeing some severe storms. But for tonight, we have a low down to our south that is bringing in some moisture. I believe the moisture will be out of here before our temperatures drop around below freezing, so no snow, no sleet, nothing like that. 30% chance of showers for tonight. Fast forwarding into your Saturday, you notice we're mostly dry heading throughout your Saturday morning. Then by late Saturday morning into early Saturday afternoon, here comes some heavy rain. You notice those yellows, orange, and reds. That's indicating the heavy rain that will move through on your Saturday afternoon. By Saturday evening into your early Sunday morning, the rain will be out of here. So I do believe we will start to dry off heading towards the second half of your weekend. Coming up after the break, we'll talk about what's going on next Tuesday. Uh, because of my work schedule, I needed a system that was self-paced. I would have had to leave at hours that was not possible in a traditional brick and mortar school. So because of SC Whitmore, I was able to get an amazing education and work with my family at the same time. All right, so we talked about that rain, which is going to move in on your Saturday. 90% chance of rain. We could see one to two inches of rain possible. But temperatures for both Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be cooler in the upstate and warmer towards the beaches. But I do believe both days, a good average temperature across the state is going to be 59. We will start to clear out as we head into your Sunday. Then increasing clouds for Monday before a system does move through on your Tuesday. So this is called a cutoff low. This low does have a warm front and a cold front attached. So early Tuesday morning, this warm front is gonna lift through. It's gonna bring some showers, but it's also gonna provide some storm energy as we head into later Tuesday afternoon. So you notice Tuesday afternoon, we have a line of showers and thunderstorms, which is starting to develop along the cold front so that's why we have to throw in the risk of seeing a few isolated thunderstorms as we head into your Tuesday afternoon right now we're still fine-tuning the details but we will let you know of the exact threat so for now for the next week GFS going three to four inches of rain similar to the Euro and National Blend of models so I believe a good forecast for rainfall over the next week is going to be anywhere between three to four inches which is good because some parts of the state are still in a drought so any rain that we can get will certainly help those drought conditions. So taking a look at the 10-day forecast, we have those showers moving through for this evening. We'll start to dry off as we head into tomorrow afternoon into your Friday before our next system does arrive heading into your Saturday. Clear out once again heading into your Sunday before we increase in cloud cover on Monday. Then here comes the stronger system on your Tuesday, which will start to move through, increasing our temperatures into the upper 60s and lower 70s before cold front clears through, cooling our temperatures back down into the upper 50s, lower 60s, and clearing our weather back out. So keep it here at Will's Weather for all the latest information.